those are the worst people. And then they will turn around, literally turn around and be like, oh, all these gay trans groomers trying to groom our kids to be gay and trans. It's like, dude, There's been a lot of talk lately about drag shows, especially as it pertains to kids being at drag shows. Um, I myself think that, you know, it's not a big deal whether kids are at drag shows or not, because literally what drag means is that you wear the opposite clothing of what the other gender of what your gender is supposed to wear. Right. So if you're a guy, you wear a girl's clothes. And if you're a girl, you wear a guy's clothes. That's it. That's it. And then you can have sexy drag shows, right? You can have stripper drag shows. It's just a category within there might be subcategories, right? And so when you have children at drag shows, as long as it's not a sexual drag show, I don't really care. And to be clear, I have seen some very, very weird stuff when it comes to some of these, but it's no weirder than some of the stuff that I've seen straight people do with their kids at straight events, right? So you know, like the, the entire outrage is simply because queer people are involved. That's literally it. So here's another great example of one of the most innocent fucking things I've ever seen. But Dr. Anastasia Maria Lopez Lupus is upset about it. Uh, the physician, by the way, who I just want to show you real quick, asked, uh, hold on, let me pull it up here. Here's a, here's a banger. What's wrong with these people? Not yet a human uh, based and true pilled, honestly. Uh, where's another one? Hold on. I, I'm, I'm looking for it. How is she going to breastfeed? Which this is a trans guy, by the way. Uh, please do not nuke me. This is a trans guy. There are no nipples present. Okay. She says, how is she going to breastfeed? A physician asked this. Is she even a real doctor? I highly doubt it. If you're a physician, if you're a doctor and you're asking this question, burn your degree. You did not study. Hell, I, I didn't study. And I know that. Okay. Everybody knows what fucking formula is. What the fuck is wrong with you? What if she, what, what if a person had breast cancer or like just, but God forbid, can't breastfeed. I did gynecological rotations and there were women who just couldn't breastfeed or didn't want to. That's their fucking right. You know? And sure, there's been, there's, there's drawbacks to that. No doubt, but it's not going to kill the kid. Anyway. Um, so that's Dr. Anastasia for you. Unclear of what breast, uh, sorry, of, of what to do in lieu of breast milk. Uh, apparently formula is not a thing that she knows exists. So let's see what she's upset about today. The world is sick. Let's, uh, we have a, a small child here. Let's see what's going on with this. Oh yeah, there's a uh, copyright music. I can't play the music. So, uh, the music is playing. People are cheering. Woo! right yeah there you go okay there she goes she's she's doing a little dance yeah oh, 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 what is this oh, oh it's a drug queen oh my god oh, oh. uh yeah anyway that drag queen being there's the only reason there's any outrage at all by the way Honestly, I like I don't even know if this one is a drag queen. This just like looks like a woman. I guess I don't technically know if any of them are. Yeah, she's just dancing, right? She's just dancing. I'm scarred for life. You should be. What if it's just Dolly Parton? So yeah, you know, it seems like she's having a good time. She got a little bit of money from it, you know? They're having a little party, doing a little dance, whatever. It looks like a family gathering, right? So yeah, you guys get the idea. There's really not a whole lot else that goes on. She just keeps dancing, getting money, whatever, whatever. But I'll just be transparent here just so you guys can see that like nothing strange is happening. Right? She's still dancing, still getting money, whatever. Honestly, she's really adorable. I think it's cute. I thought it was cute. Like I used to dance all the time in dance competitions and get guess what the prize was? Money. Isn't that crazy? Sometimes we got money as a prize. So like, I don't know which part of this is wrong. So I commented, a child is dancing and people are handing her money. How is this bad again? 
So uh, we got some interesting people responding to me. Uh, Brandon Hair Sniffer right here. If you can't answer your own question, Satan has you. And we know what you are. Leave our children alone. Also, stop picking the many scabs on your arms. This is a symptom of self-hate, possibly abuse as a child. Get professional help. I'll have you know, I have not been picking the scabs on my arms lately, okay? They look great right now. All right, I'm just saying. Anyway, neither here nor there. I said, Satan can keep me. He'll lick the wounds on my arms and then heal them. Brandon responds, Satan heals nothing, demon. It's not his in his evil nature. In the holy name of Jesus, leave our children alone and go burn with your evil master now. So I just posted that. Me at your mom, baby. Yeah, it's Tenacious D, right? Um. Anyway, I, I just, I don't understand the problem. Like, street performers do that shit all the time. They just get money for dancing or singing or playing an instrument or whatever. And these fucking freaks jump straight to this being a sex thing. Like, why? There's nothing sexual about it. Literally, people were in the comments. Let me show you. Let me show you some of these comments. You know, let's go through it. Oh, yeah. Here's another banger meme that I did. The dancing child is sexual. How? Pedo. Literally. Very talented kid, possible future dancer, blah, blah, blah. Very sad. Looks like she's being groomed to become a stripper. Sick. Why do parents do this? What parent would allow their child to do such a thing? I don't understand at all. It just doesn't make any sense. I see a lot of people having a great time. That's what I see. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, a child dancing around. Yeah, from Drew, uh, community member Drew. You have put up a video of a child reposting it to claim faux moral outrage, yet you are perpetuating the abuse of the child. Ironic. That's pretty true, actually. Yeah, literally by putting this video up with the child's face not even being censored, like, 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 dude, you're literally just targeting the child now. Like, what are you doing? It's okay, I'm here. Hey, you are here. Welcome. Go follow Sean of the Pop. Thanos, oh my god. The more I see this, the more I see the bystander effect in play. Not many people have the curse to stand up and walk out from scenes like this. I just, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. It's literally just because drag queens are there. It's literally just because drag queens are there. I don't know if you guys know this, but you can go on YouTube and there is an entire, you know what? I'll show you. I'll show you real quick. Uh, kids at Hooters. Let's take a look. I think I may have pulled it up once before. Let's view the full playlist here. Wow, look at this. Hooters. Trevor Hooters birthday party. Toddler's reaction to Hooters visit. Audio's first birthday. Son slash daddy date at Hooters. Mason's first birthday at Hooters in Daytona Beach. Baber Seahawks birthday at Hooters. Baber's birthday at Hooters Tacoma. Five-year-old gets a kiss by a Hooter. Little man tricks a Hooters girl. Hooters Girls Interview in a 1966 Pontiac GTO Military Special. I don't know if that's actually... No, no, no. There are kids there. Great. Perfect. Love that. So, yeah, you know, they don't actually give a shit that, like, sexual stuff's going on, even if sexual stuff were to be going on here. Uh, they don't really care about that. They just care that it's not straight. Because if it were straight, that would actually be cool and poggers and fun. Because as we all know, especially when it comes to young boys, uh, they love, they love their grooming young boys. They love that. Uh, you ever see their comments whenever there's a uh, uh, a female teacher, a, a, a conventionally attractive female teacher that sexually abuses, a.k.a. Rapes a young boy, right? Um, yeah, no, no, no. Those, those are the worst people. And then they will turn around, literally turn around and be like, oh, all these gay trans groomers trying to groom our kids to be gay and trans. It's like, dude, what? I, I think I think that kid would rather grow up to be gay than grow up with with trauma from being sexually assaulted. Yeah, I w where was that teacher when I was a kid? <laughs> uh, no consistency. It's it's just disgusting. Yeah, Tucker Carlson literally has a segment uh, for that. So like literally where he just says that it's really cool. It's it's great. I love that. I love that for us. I love that for our uh, uh, our our country and. You know, I, I, I think sometimes I think it's time, uh, for Armageddon, you know, sometimes I, I, sometimes I really do think we should just let global warming do its thing. That's all. Yeah. So here's the, just so in case you don't know, here's the Tucker Carlson bit, the, uh, the aforementioned Tucker Carlson bit. 13 year old boys have one goal, obviously in life to get laid, of course. And they take that out on 13 year old girls. Now, 13 year old boys getting laid, not a bad thing. 13 year old girls getting laid, bad thing, particularly mm. if the 13 year old mm. girl is your daughter. See, right? Why, why are we so double standard in the fact that, you know, 13 year old boy, same a here, boy this is actually really bad. Just so you know, uh, this leads people to think things along the lines of boys aren't as negatively affected by being assaulted as like women are, which is incredibly factually incorrect.
thing that is not true. In some regards, when men and boys are assaulted, they can experience more problems than women can outside of the uh, whole pregnancy thing. But being able to talk about it with people and like open up when it comes to their feelings and everything and the uh, feeling of inadequacy. Good job, Shark. Yeah, Shark's always got the bangers. But yeah, like I said, um, gigantic volcano. Yeah, I, th I think it's time for the, uh, the Yellowstone volcano to erupt. Just, you know, cover me up, baby. Hit me, Volcano Daddy. I'm ready. I'm ready. Encase me in your sweet ashes to be discovered by an alien race thousands of years from now. It's time. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload. You can join my channel membership at youtube.com slash TTV slash join for only 99 cents a month. That's less than the price of a blowjob from your mom. You can be part of the channel membership program and you will get early access content as well as a sweet badge next to your name and exclusive emojis in the comments that nobody else gets. Thank you again, and I will see you all in the next video.